Hello there! Welcome back to another episode of Rule the Waves 2! I'm Katori87, we're playing as Great Britain, and we are once again at war with Russia. But before we really get into that, I'd like to take a little bit to talk about sound. In my first few episodes, I experimented with playing some music in the background. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't work out too well, because I was unable to consistently produce uh, desirable volume levels for the music that I enjoy listening to while playing to this game. So, uh, I know some of you did enjoy that, however. So, if you do want to listen to my favorite music while, or at least the music that I listen to while playing this game, I will include a link to the playlist that I'm actually listening to in the description of this video. So, if you want to take a look, a uh, listen to that, go ahead and click the link in the description and then start watching this as well. You can enjoy the same sounds that I'm listening to as we fight. Alright, with that taken care of, let's get right into it. In our last episode, we got into a crushing fleet battle against the Russians, where we proved that we have a decisive material advantage against them. Our capital ships are larger, more powerful, and much better fire control, which was not able to crush the enemy quite as decisively as I had hoped. So... We did definitely defeat them. We sank three battleships and a battlecruiser, but it was not as decisive as I would have expected for the level of firepower difference between our forces. And that's not exactly a good sign. So hopefully we can get into some battlecruiser actions and pare down their forces in smaller, more even fights. Let's take a quick look around. Let's see, last time we had to send some ships overseas. But I do not see any ships for Russia at sea. Yeah, we go over to this size and we see, I see nothing. Russia has two armored cruisers on the east coast. And that's about it. All their other ships they've brought back home to Northern Europe. Hmm. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see, where did we leave off? Uh, now that Russia no longer has any major capital ships out and about, we can try and hunt down those armored cruisers. They're heading to the east coast. Let's see if we can head them off. Well, I'm not entirely sure where they're going, but I bet... Yeah, we'll do that. I'll take the two in the Caribbean. We'll send those over. Here we go. We'll send those over to the west coast. And we'll bring the other two down to the Caribbean. And we'll see where those guys head. There we go. Move those fellows around. They're down here. We'll send one over here. We'll bring the other fellows down here. And we'll be able to start narrowing down their uh, paths of retreat. See where they go. And of course, primary focus should be on... Uh... Oh my goodness, look at those forces. That's pretty impressive. All right. Now that we've been distracted long enough, time to actually get back into this. Nothing new here, nothing new there. Our force distributions are looking good. I'm actually going to mothball these Derwents to save a few pennies. They will be useful for ASW against nations with more submarines, but Russia barely has anything. Yeah, they've barely got anything, and they're starting up construction, but I don't think it's going to help them very much. All right, here we go. What the? One of our ships intercepts a Russian raider running the blockade. 
Huh. These boats were not really intended for intercepts. But if they're going to do an intercept, then I guess they're going to do an intercept. Good luck. Yep, she got sunk. Totally not built for it. Right. Battle cruiser impassable could be completed with our best fire control. No, I want to incorporate the full set of improvements, so we'll pass on that. All right, enemy sounded us about a negotiated peace with us gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. Nope, we're going to push for crushing them. There we go. They've scuttled one of their raiders. Let's see, which one was it? Well, Russia does have some ships over there. And it looks like they went to the west coast. Oh wow, they are spreading out to go, starting to spread out for raiding. All right, let's uh, see what we can do about that. Okay. We'll take one of the ships from the Caribbean. We'll move that to West Africa. Hopefully we can get a nice fight there. We'll take one of the ships from the west coast. We'll move that to the Caribbean. We'll take the other ship from the west coast. We'll move that down to South American west coast. See if we can corner that raider out there. All right, next turn. Cruiser battle, medium sized off the Little Fisher Bank. Hmm. Not the biggest fight in the world, but I'll take it. They call it a cruiser battle. And they give me the Iron Duke. Well, this will be an interesting cruiser battle. And it's morning, which means I have all day to crush these fools. There we go, unknown ship sighted. All ahead flank. We'll run these guys down. There we go. Okay, we've got sight on one. Aha, a battle cruiser. Multiple battle cruisers. Well, this should be interesting. Oh my, things are going a little bit fast there. Let's uh let's study this off. All right, we're facing 3 Chesma class. All right, 12 inch guns, so rather weak. Two inch deck, 11 and a half inch belt. Let's see, what's a good engagement range for those? All right, we're rocking negative one quality 16 inch guns. So we're theoretically able to penetrate all the way out to 18,000 yards. But I think a much more reasonable engagement range is somewhere around 12 or 13,000. Uh, what range are we currently at? Hold on. There we go. What range are we currently at? We are at 14,000. Yeah, we can get a little bit closer. And we'll see if we can drive them back and go in for a kill. Hold on. 
Where's my destroyers? Okay, I'm going to take full control over these and get them in some place useful. If I'm able to do that, they're only 29 knots. Uh, we're starting to see some good hits on them. They're hitting us in return. Oh, we're down one turret. All right, time to open broadsides. Got torpedoes in the water, and we've missed. But we are definitely getting some good hits on there. High speed increases flooding, how's our flooding? All right, well, we are close enough that they are starting to penetrate. Okay. So we want to see if we can open up the range there. Speed is holding good. Overall, hull is holding. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, nuts. Looks like one of those Chesmas is in trouble. Is that a uh, rudder damage there? I don't know. But let's keep these destroyers in the action, fending off their destroyers, because I do not like getting torpedoed. And I know... Yeah, they've got torpedoes as well. I do not want the Iron Duke getting torpedoed. That would be bad. So we'll just have to comb their wake. And shoot up that which we can. Alright. We're definitely throwing out some good damage there though. So that's good. Come on, my destroyers, take them down. There we go, that should drive them back. We can actually turn more aggressively now that some of them are starting to slow down. What is this one doing? Chesma class reporting heavy damage down to 20 knots. Okay, she's got two turrets knocked out. How's this one doing? She's relatively okay. How's this one doing? Hmm. This one's down to 15 knots. Let's keep going against this one for a little bit. The northern one. See if we can get some more damage. A few more hits. A little bit more damage. There we go. She's down to 10 knots. She's slowing. Yeah, that's the sort of stuff that we're looking for. That's how you do it, Iron Duke. That's how you do it. All right, we're going to turn for a closing pass. We're going to do a close pass on the Chesma, and then we'll go after the southern ship. All right. Spend a few moments dodging torpedoes there. And now we'll cut for an intercept course. Come on, guys, knock that thing down. Get that destroyer out of the fight. How are you doing on ammunition? Looking good. Okay, we're going to see if we can get a finish off on this one. Heavy damage, 15 knots. She's still in the fight. It looks like the rest of them are retreating to the south. Alright, down to 50% ammunition. That's fine.
There we go, she's on fire. Alright, I think we can safely call that a kill. Let's turn in on this destroyer. There we go. Shift our fire south. Let's see what we can do against these things. What is that? Another BC to no Oh, that's the one that we had damaged earlier. Let's see if we can get in on that guy. Actually, is it? Yeah, that's the one that we shot up earlier. She's still got two turrets knocked out. Perfect. Quick torpedo evasion. There we go. Let's see, how fast is she running? Yeah, she's at 20 knots. And we're still at 24. Doing good. Why are we down to 24? Let's see. We've bounced mo- Oh, here we go. Splinters perforate uptakes. Okay, yeah, that would do it. That would indeed do it. Okay. But only a four knot reduction, not bad. All right, well, keep on running down this Chesma class. One destroyer lost. That is unfortunate. But if we can knock down a second battle cruiser in exchange, I think that would be totally, totally worth it. Keep up the chase. We've almost got her. 20% main ammo remaining. Let's see, how are we doing? Looks like most of the remaining ammunition is in the aft and the forward superimposed. Okay. What's our range? Eight and a half thousand. Okay. Heavy damage and on fire. Let's see, anybody got torpedoes left? Rifleman does? All right. Let's see if we can close in for a kill. We're still scoring plenty of hits here. What is that? Not a concern, that's what. See if we can get in on this. We're almost there. Stay on target. Stay on target. Nope, she's breaking. All right, hold your fire for now. Cut the corner. Yeah. All right, firing is permitted. Okay, looks like we took the shot. There we go, this is a fairly good position. And it looks like she's pretty well out of the fight at this point. All right, probably Three more volleys of AP in that aft turret, and that is it. We are almost out. There we go. Torpedo hit. Two more volleys. Ooh. 
One more volley. All right, and we are down to H-E. But I'm pretty sure she's sinking. All right, we'll turn these around. In fact, we'll let them go back to screening. We'll do one more pass. Hopefully not get torpedoed. And that should finish things off. All right, and we will call that good. Reduce speed. All right, and time to head for home. Outstanding job, Iron Duke. That is two enemy battle cruisers sunk. There we go, no opposing ships in sight, scenario length reached. The end. All right, light damage on one battleship, one destroyer lost, not bad, and we sank two battle cruisers. Well, it's not like they stood much chance. Their 12 inch guns were hardly able to hit me until we got to point blank range. All right, let's take a quick look at this. All right, we sank the namesake of the class with 39 16-inch Hells. And we also got the Synop with 41 16-inch Shells. And a Torpedo. Let's see what kind of damage these guys took. Oh yeah, heavy flooding. Belt extended, rudder knocked out, belt extended. That's some heavy flooding right there. Oh yeah, these 16-inch guns were going right through. I believe the correct term to describe this is like butter. Oh, hold on, hold on. They did bounce an engine room hit. So they do have sufficient protection in that particular category from heavy shells, even at close range, probably due to their older arrangement of armor. All right, let's take a look at the synop. Oh man, look at that flooding. All right, yeah, those 16 inch shells just do so much damage. And there we get some splinters in the uptakes. Once their speed was reduced, there was not a whole lot they could do about it. And then we start getting, oh my goodness. We got some three inch hits from the destroyers. Nice. There we go, and that torpedo is what finished it off. Torpedo hit from the rifleman and immediately sinking through progressive flooding. Then we score a few more hits afterwards, but it didn't matter. She was already sinking. All right, how did the Iron Duke fare? We did take a few penetrations, so secondary battery got hit, which, yeah, that makes sense. She has very light secondary armor, so that knocked out one turret. And then belt extended, which, due to the all-or-nothing armor, that doesn't have any protection. Fore and aft hull, again, no protection there. There's a superstructure hit, fore and aft hull hit. None of those have any protection. There's another secondary turret knocked out by a 12 inch shell. 
Hull damaged by splinters. Interesting. Oh, yeah, deck extended. Superstructure pass through. Yeah, nothing was able to threaten this ship. Aside from flooding due to belt extended hits. And even that was not significant. They were able to get that under control fairly easily. And we just clean bounced that 12 inch hit right there. All right, I am quite happy with how these things performed. They did perforate uptakes, but that didn't do a whole lot. All right. There we go, major victory, gain two prestige, one per battle cruiser, and we'll call that the Battle of Little Fisher Bank. Methinks Jackie Fisher would be pleased. His theories of speed and firepower do make a difference. All right, the ship, Battleship Collingwood, could be completed with our best fire control. That's one of our Iron Duke class. No, I don't think I will do that because I want them to receive the full suit of upgrades, not just a new fire control. And then the Ineluctable class. Hmm. This one I think is worth it. Get the new fire control in there, get it out and serving so they can actually fight in this war and then we'll do the full suit of upgrades afterwards. So I will do this one. Yay! We get more money and we get seaplane scouts, finally! Just in time for flight deck. We can now build air bases with 20 aircraft capacity. Our new float plane scout, the Bolton Paul Barracuda, is ready for operational service and uh, apparently all the reinforcements necessary in order for it to actually be airworthy have made it somewhat sluggish, so it is slower than predicted. Enemy submarine has sunk our corvette. And there's a raider in northern Europe. Okay, blockade is still going along. Let's take a quick look at the map, see where the Russian ships have fled. Nothing down there. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Okay, they headed up to the west coast. Nothing down here, nothing over here. I guess they went back to the Caribbean. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's move that guy back. We'll take you, move you back to the Caribbean. There we go. And then South American West Coast, let's move you back to the North American West Coast. There we go. We'll intercept those battle cruisers at some point. Okay, and one of our Comuses has come out of refit. And more of them are starting to go obsolete. Oh no! The impassable hasn't gotten the option to refit! That's not good. I do not want these ships getting spun off into two separate classes. I will have to send her right back into the yards. Alright, but we need to get these 
obsolete ships in for refit. So we'll do that. Drag you back. We'll take these ones as well. Another eight. So that's a total of nine. Going in for refits right now. And that puts us a little bit shy of our foreign station requirements. So we need some... All right, we'll take some of these Intrepids and we'll send those out. There's one, there's two, and our foreign station requirements are okay. Actually, hold on. You go back to Mothballs. You go on foreign station. There we go. Problem solved. Use the ships built for the purpose for the purpose they were built for. All right, much better. Is there anything else we need to do? Let's see, can I start planning an invasion yet? Is that within the budget? It is. Let's see if that works. Convoy attack. Enemy Russia. Medium sized battle. Not the biggest. I accept. Let's see what we've got. Destroyers. Our objective is to sink six transports. Oh boy, this is going to be a night fight at 7 o'clock already. Sunset coming up fast. Uh, I don't think this is going to go well. We've already got glare. There we go, ship sighted. We'll put those on support. All over to the flotilla attack so that they can actually get in. And I think that's the uh, convoy. Yeah, that's acting like con. No, that's acting like escorts. There's the convoy to the north. Let's see if we can get in on that. Nope, those are all destroyers. Where's the convoy itself? I'm seeing plenty of torpedo boats around, but where's the convoy itself? We may end up losing this simply because we can't find the objective. Let's see if we can at least gun down something. How's the Lynx doing? I know you got hit by a torpedo, but oh, you are okay. Oh, so you got your machinery repaired. All right, well, let's get you some speed and you are actually going to go back home. Disengage, live to fight another day. After a torpedo hit like that, I'll be very surprised. All right, if you survive. There we go, that's one destroyer sunk. Let's see if we can get in on this. Thank you, fellows, for 
finishing off a ship that was already sinking. That was a nice shot. Very nearly got them. Okay, guys, you can stop firing torpedoes at it now. She's sinking. What are you doing, Badger? Oh, you had your engines knocked out. All right, well, at least we got some steam back in the engine room. Back up to 17 knots. Man, we are just not having any luck with these. I don't know if they were heading south or north or what. If I can get in amongst the transports, I can accomplish the mission. I don't want to sink all the destroyers. Otherwise, the Russians won't sortie in any major fleet actions. What are you doing, Lynx? I told you to head home. That way. Alright, that's acting like a destroyer. Don't want to mess around with that. Put you on screen. I'll retract the flotilla attack order and we will reduce speed 25 knots so that they can reform. And the badger we will also send home. Oh, nope, she reattached. Or did she lose contact? Archer? What's wrong with the archer? Hmm. All right, well, I think we've lost this one. It's time to reduce speed and head home. No contact with the enemy convoy. We just got to get out of here. Cut our losses and limit any ships that we lose. All right. We did lose one, they lost three, all of their transports got through. So we failed with our objective. Rats. Where did they go? So they went north. Ah, oh, man. Oh well. Only a few victory points there. Russia has flying boats? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll make him a national hero. All right. Oh, I forgot to order a new type of aircraft last turn. So let's do that. Request new aircraft type. Oh, we've got options. Well then, let's get us a proper scout. Let's get a flying boat going. First priority is going to be range. Second priority is going to be speed. And now that we have some sort of seaplane scouts, our 
seaplane tenders will actually be useful. All right, who just finished their work up? Ineluctable. Well, I should have done this earlier, considering that all it really is doing is throwing on an approved fire control, but we'll take it. One more month till the next Iron Duke comes out, followed by three months of refits. Installing all the new hardware, and then 20 more months until the third ship of the class comes out. Alright, and we do have another ship gone obsolete. I'll worry about that later. Let's see, how's our fleet strengths? So Russia still has ships in the Caribbean. Where'd they go? Huh. Weird. I have no idea what's going on. But I don't like having that ship over there, so we can take that one that's currently on the west coast and we can bring it back to the Caribbean. So that'll take care of that. Formidable in the yards with engine problems, we saw that report. Let's see. Scrapped the ass gold. Wonder why they did that in the middle of a war. A raider in the med. Raiders in Northern Europe and more raiders in Northern Europe. Hmm. Speaking of seaplanes, though, we need to build some bases for those. We could certainly use some. Let's see, where would be good spots for seaplane bases? Plymouth is a good one. Harwich seems like another sensible place. Can't really see much else right now, so we'll build seaplane bases at both of those. So we'll build one in Plymouth. And we'll build another one at... Oh, hold on, where was it? I know I just said it. But I completely forgot. Harwich. There we go. That's the one that we wanted. Harwich. There we go. Airbase. Harwich. Okay. Get those rocking. Let's see. Are there any other places that could use seaplane bases? Not right now. At some point we'll have to do something about the med. But that sounds like a problem for next episode. We're coming up on the 45 minute mark. So I think we are going to call this to a close. Until next time, Katori87, signing out.